Time now for sports with Casey Conlon. Three runs. That's all that stood between Rodeo's best and a world title coming into the night. Let's go to Scott Breen for coverage from round eight of the national finals. Well, welcome back to our all access coverage, everybody, from the Thomas and Mack Center. We are just a few miles from the tip of the strip, the South Point Hotel and Casino, where nightly winners pick up their gold buckles. Of course, entering tonight's round eight, some of these guys are tunnel vision strictly on the world championship. That includes Miles City's Haven Magic, first trip to the NFR, projected to win the world. Leading the average just needs to stay consistent. 9.1 seconds. The rookie makes a businessman's run, and he still leads the average with two rounds to go. Steer wrestling. Helena's Ty Erickson, number one in the world, but only by $10,000. Needed money here. Didn't get it tonight in 5.1 seconds. Stevensville Cowboy Bridger Chambers right behind him. Entered the finals ranked 13th. He's climbed all the way to 6th. Not a great night with 5 and 7. No paycheck. He'll just play for the win tomorrow and Saturday. We'll hear from Chambers and Erickson tomorrow in sports. Team roping, Shepard graduate Clay Tryon, a three-time world champion, just letting it all hang out down here. He's won a couple of checks, but not tonight, nine flat. Clay finally turned 40 this year, says he's feeling old, but actually he said he's had the best regular season of his career. He's struggling to keep that rolling down here, but the veteran knows how to deal with it. You know what, like you just got to stay positive. I mean, I've missed three before. You can spread it out and miss them or you can do it right in a row like I did. It looks worse. I've had everybody in the world trying to text me, coach on me. Uh, I figure by now if I don't got it, it's, you know, it's too late. Nah, it's never too late for a world champ. The good news, Clay always has a practice partner. Team roping is right in the wheelhouse of his three boys. His 13-year-old ropes on the junior circuit and won $30,000 this summer at one point plus a vehicle. So when they work out together, is the champ heading or healing? I'll do both for him. Like a lot of times if I don't have a practice partner that day, my oldest heal's good enough, he can just heal for me. But I think it's good when you're younger to head or heal, just figure out which one you're gonna be best at and then go with that. Meantime, more team roping, Clay's cousin Chase and Brenton Hall tonight. Circle the arena, they split one, two with Junior Nagara and Caleb Driggers. Round eight, bareback. Corvallis Cowboy Caleb Bennett. We had some fun with him in sports at 530. He goes for a ride. 86 and a half aboard Explosive Skies keeps him in the money. We also heard from his travel partner and his new neighbor, Richie Champion, entered fifth in the world with 85 points tonight. In the saddle bronc, Chase Brooks, the Deer Lodge Cowboy, aboard James Bond. Torches him for 89 points in second place money. Brody Crest from outside Cheyenne trying to make it eight straight paychecks. 86 and a half, that's another $7,000, and he leads the Saddle Bronc aggregate. Well, what do you say we do it again tomorrow on Friday the 13th here in Las Vegas? At the National Finals Rodeo, Scott Breen, MTN Sports.